Hi, I'm Brian Wilson, the creator of Consign Pro, and today I'm going to take you through some uh, simple Consign Pro training. Uh, we're going to take a walk through version 8 of Consign Pro, introduce you to our main menu, uh, add a consigner, add some inventory, show you how tags are printed, and finally sell uh, selling an item. The training is going to be several modules. Uh, each module will be between 10 and 15 minutes long. And we'll get started today, as I said, with our main menu. The main menu in Consign Pro is the starting and ending point of all transactions in the system. Everything you do starts at the main menu and finishes in at, the, at the main menu, uh, which makes our program very easy to use and to learn. Uh, the main menu is comprised of a series of buttons, which can either be clicked with your mouse or if you've got some function keys on your keyboard, you can press F1, for example, to access the Find Consigner screen, F3 for Find Inventory, uh, etc. On our main menu, up at the top of the screen, you'll also notice we have some drop-down sub-menus. Uh, each of these menus can be accessed with your mouse, and each of the menus has uh, some very specific features underneath it. We're going to go through those features later on, uh, but for right now, we'll stick with the main menu. In the top right corner of the main menu, you can change the color of the menu. If you don't like our pink color, you can go to blue or gray or orange, yellow, uh, etc. I think uh, the pink color is used by probably the most of our store owners and it shows up really nice on video. So we'll start, we'll keep that color throughout today. Uh, Again, on the main menu, we've got uh, two buttons in the top right corner. One is to exit the system. Uh, that will get you out of the Consign Pro program. The other is to open our electronic cash drawer, if you have the cash drawer connected to your computer. Uh, that's the main menu. Uh, I'm going to go into Add Consigner now and add a consigner to the system. We'll zoom in just a little bit, try to get you a little bit more of the screen there. The Add Consigner screen automatically brings up consigner number two, and I'm going to add a consigner to the system. The tab uh, key moves you throughout the program. It will move you to the next logical field. And as you tab, the system will automatically capitalize uh, what you are typing off of. So it's smart enough to know what words you want capitalized and what words you don't need capitalized. Uh, city, state, and zip automatically get filled in from the maintain store screen. And you'll notice as I tab, I'm tabbing off of the zip code field, two buttons will light up at the bottom of the screen. One is save record, the other is add items. Uh, we just told the system that uh, when we tabbed off of the zip code field, all of the bold fields are, then, are now filled in. Uh, the bold fields on this screen are first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. On the right side of the screen, we can enter some things like phone number. Put in our business phone number here. And while it's not required, I can also put in our email address. And I could put in some notes on the uh, consigner if you'd like. Uh, we'll say friends and family discount anything you'd like into the comments field. At this point, uh, we've got some options. We can save this consigner to the database and add another consigner. The next consigner would probably be consigner number three. We can print a contract for this consigner, or we can add some inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and click add, Invent add items down here in the lower right corner, and that's gonna bring you to our inventory screen. On the inventory screen, we've got four fields that are typically required. And those are the type, description, color, and size fields. We also have a price field that's required. These fields can be either typed in or selected from the drop-down list. I'm just going to type in some things here it'll automatically fill in uh, the rest of the word if you have that uh, in the drop-down list. Put in a price. And on this screen, you'll notice this is a $19 item. 
50% split is going to the consigner. We've got a receive date of today and an end date uh, looks like about three months from now. So we told the system we've got a 90 day consignment period and it's automatically putting those in. We could also in the top, top of the screen add some notes to this uh, item. Put in anything you'd like. That doesn't appear on the tag and it doesn't appear on any reports. We could also add a photo of the item. If you had a picture on your hard drive, you could select that picture and it would get assigned to this item. Other fields on the screen, uh, tag color. Some store owners like to do their markdowns based on tag color. In our system, that's not required. Uh, again, the required fields on any screen are in bold and the tab key will move you throughout the screen to the next required field. That's all that's needed to add item number two to the system. So now I'm going to jump back to the main menu. I could also at this point either repeat this item or I could click add another if I wanted to add another for my same consigner number two. Jump back to the main menu. Zoom out a little bit here. And at this point, what you would typically do is you would uh, print a tag for item number two. Printing tags is done off of our reports screen. And notice in the bottom right, bottom left corner, I've got item tags or labels. Any unprinted has a little one next to it, and that tells me I've got one tag ready to go. I don't need to bother with the item numbers. The system knows, uh, based on this any unprinted, what's left to be printed. And I'm just going to print those to the screen for you so we can take a quick look at it. And there's our sample tag for item number two. This would print out on either the Zebra thermal tag and label printer or it could print on your inkjet or laser jet printer. I'll click close and I'll jump back to the main menu and we could now go into make sale and sell item number two. The make sale is your point of sale screen. This is where all you ring up all of your sales. You can ring up up to 80 items on any one sale by either scanning the barcode that's on the tag or by simply typing in the item number. I don't have a physically printed tag, so I'm just going to type in item number two, and it brings up the description, the color, and the current price of the item. I can change the price on this screen, or I can say, let's reduce this by 10% it'll automatically do that when you tab off of the field. Discounts that you take on this screen are shared with the consigner. So in this case, a 10% discount would be 5% discount to the store and 5% discount to the consigner. If I wanted to, I could sell more items on this screen. Uh, I don't have more items in the system, so we're just going to click on Finish Sale. Notice this item is taxed at 7%. That's a default you set up on our Maintain Store screen. When I click Finish Sale, the Amount Due screen shows up and it tells me exactly how much the uh, customer owes me with sales tax, in this case $18.30. I can select multiple payment types, uh, up to two, first payment type, second payment type. These uh, lists of payment types are set up by you. They're set up under Maintain Store, Maintain Lists. We'll go through that screen in another module of this training. On this screen, I'm going to take a discount of an additional 50 cents. Discounts taken on this screen in that box are discounts that only the store feels. So if you want to share a discount with a consigner, do it over on the make sale screen. If you want the discount to just affect the store, do the discount on this screen. In this case, I could, if I wanted to, use a consigner's account credit. If the customer standing in front of you also was a consigner, then you could use that account credit to pay for part of their purchase. In this case, I won't do that. I'll just complete the sale and sell item number two. I can now go into find consigner and let's look up item consigner number two, item number two. Here's my consigner I added. I noticed that after selling item number two, they have an account balance of $8.55. If I'm curious as to how that balance got created by the system, I can over here on the right click account activity. It shows me that today, 11.23 in the morning, I sold item number two and the amount the consigner received was $8.55. A quick double click on this 
will actually show you the consigner, uh, the sale price was $17.10. The consigner in store each received 50% of that or $8.55. I can either print this activity, the hand to the consigner, or close the screen. Next, we're gonna jump back to the main menu and that is going to wrap up our module one of this training. Uh, each module is going to uh, continue to grow on or uh, continue from the previous module and by the time all the modules are done uh, you'll have a really good understanding of how the consign pro uh, program works. Uh, just to recap what we did uh, is we went in we added a consigner to the system, we added an item, we sold that item on the make sale screen, and we went and reviewed how the consigner got paid and how we could show the consigner a report of all the items that got sold. That pretty much wraps up our first training. Join us in module two for some continued training. Thanks.